welcome to the world of anesthesia today i am going to tell you the rigid laryngoscope so today i am going to tell you the rigid laryngoscope so this is rigid laryngoscope which is used to observe the larynx and mainly it is used for the endotracheal intubation this consists of handle and blade the when they are put in the working situation this bulb is energized the source of power are the disposable cells which are stored in this handle now they have the hook on connection this is the this is hinge and this is slot of the blade when they are put in the working position this bulb illuminates and this hook on connection helps in easy attachment and detachment next this is the bulb and this is the metallic connection which completes the electrical circuit this is the activator switch which is depressed when we attach the blade now when we attach it this switch is compressed and it provides a connection between the cell and the bulb the this is blade which this is the base of the blade and which fixes to the handle and the proximal part of the blade is known as a heel this is slot which fits into the hinge and this is the main shaft of the blade which is known as a tongue it helps in the manipulation and compression of the soft tissues especially the tongue when we use it the second part is known as a flange this is known as a flange and it yeah. it is attached with the tongue with the help of this portion which is known as a web and this flange helps to shift the soft tissue especially the tongue towards one side out of the line of the vision the third important part of this blade is the tip of the blade which is thickened and rounded to avoid the trauma when we uh, when we use it it comes in touch with the vellicula or the epiglottis therefore when we use it therefore it directly or indirectly lifts the epiglottis to see the full details of the laryngoscopy i request you to visit my video the art of uh, laryngoscopy and the live demonstration of endotracheal intubation but there are few important points which i will illustrate here this handle and blade they form the right angle which can be this right angle can be made acute or it can be made obtuse and this is the adapter which helps to change the angle now when i attach this handle this adapter this has changed its angle now this angle has become acute and sometimes it is useful in the difficult cases this tongue can be curved or this can be straight as in this in this uh, blade of the laryngoscope this straight blade is useful for the laryngoscopy in the case of uh, infants and the neonates this curved blade is mainly used in the adults the first point which is to take be taken care of is the position of the patient the optimal position for the laryngoscopy is the low is the flexion of the lower cervical spine and extension at the atlanto occipital joint the flexion of the lower cervical spine is maintained is obtained 
by placing a pillow under the head and extension at atlanto occipital joint is maintained by the placing the hand on the head like this this is the first step second point to take care of is that the traction should be applied in the line of the handle at right angle to the blade to avoid the injury to the teeth now we are not to make the fulcrum of the uh, incisor tooth like uh, by taking the laryngoscope backwards otherwise it is going to injure the tooth injury to the tooth or the gum leads to the medical legal problems and if the tooth is broken it can be aspirated it can lead to the pulmonary uh, complications next there can also be the profuse bleeding so if the tooth is loose we can tie with the help of a thread so that it if broken it is not dislodged like this we tie it like this we can just see i have tied a tooth and i can fix it with the help of a tape here now if this tooth just show it please tooth is even dislodged then it will not be lost or it not it, it will not be swallowed or aspirated so this adds to the safety if at all the tooth is damaged or it is broken or it is dislodged a good orodental surgeon should be consulted immediately because if we replace it immediately the results are good secondly there can be when we are using this uh, laryngoscope we are we should take care that this lip should not roll between the laryngoscope and the teeth we should rather retract it downwards and then introduce this uh, the blade of the laryngoscope inside otherwise there can be injury to the lips now the injury to the soft tissue can be in the form of hematomas lacerations or abrasions to the to the tongue to the palate to the pharynx to the hypopharynx and even the larynx and esophagus can be involved we are to avoid these injuries thirdly an anesthesiologist has to be very delicate while making the extension at the atlanto occipital joint because if he is aggressive in making the position then there can be damage to the cervical spine so he should be very delicate and careful next it can the laryngo this laryngoscopy leads to the hemodynamic changes also there can be bradycardias tachycardias hypertension and the ventricular arrhythmias also and the most important perhaps the most common uh, is the failure of this bulb to illuminate by we are using it so the pre use check up of the laryngoscope and is is a must and we should have one extra laryngoscope with the handle and blade on the table because if it fails it can spell disaster especially when we are doing the rapid sequence induction of the anesthesia to see more topics of uh, on anesthesiology you may visit my blog on my passion my profession anesthesiology dot blogspot dot com thank you